Okay, we are in the hotel room. I have my Red Bull. And uh, it is the following day after Don A did the awesome stuff um, at the Reawaken America Tour. Here we are in the hotel. There's Jacqueline, there's Lou, there's Serge and the wife. And now we are headed to see the greatest uh, uh, pro-American football has to offer at the Pro Football Hall of Fame here in Canton, Ohio. Uh, all the uh, players that have been um, inducted into the Hall of Fame being the greatest players ever to play in the NFL. Uh, as you know, Serge and I both uh, love football. Uh, I love the Dallas Cowboys. Serge uh, like Tom Brady. He likes Tom Brady. <laughs> uh, uh, understandable, Tom Brady the GOAT. But uh, we'll see some Tom Brady memorabilia there. Tom Brady just retired this year. So he's got four years before he's eligible for the Hall of Fame. But uh, pretty much guaranteed in four years, Tom Brady's Hall of Fame uh, induction will be one of the, the biggest ever. Uh, but at the hotel, and here we go. I'm sure Lou is just... So thrilled to go to the, the football hall of fame. Jacqueline too. She <laughs> <laughs> but I'm taking them and here we go. Here we are pulling up to the Hall of Fame. Pro Football Hall of Fame. It's the parking lot. Looks like we gotta go this way. But it's actually a, a sunny day. It's about 20 degrees outside, but the sun's out. Turn left to stay on George Hollis Drive Northwest. Then your destination will be on the right. It looks like this is pretty much the parking. It is a uh, cold day, but uh, a sunny day here in Canton, Ohio at the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Uh, go Cowboys. Class of 2001. Uh, it is cold. Ooh, man, it is cold out here. Uh, here's the Hall of Fame. About to be going inside. Uh, get out of this cold weather. Ooh, look. Even the trash can, even the damn trash can says Hall of Fame. That's a Hall of Fame trash can. The Hall of Fame trash can. Is the, the class of 2001. Um, only one I really care about is right here. Drew Pearson, go Cowboys. NFL photography from the past couple of years. Okay. Um, this is a, a pup mobile, which explains why the hall is here in Canton. If you would like to start your tour, you're going to head up this ramp. That's going to take you to the first century of the hall. From there, you'll go upstairs where you're going to find most of the other displays in the gallery. So that's Ooh. where the second century is. That's where you'll find the rings, the bus, pro football today, both theaters. I recommend going to both theaters because that's pretty cool. Oh. And then back down here, straight ahead into your left are the restrooms. Straight ahead is the pro shop in the gift shop and then down the ramp black college hall of fame as well as some gaming and the lockers for the uh, gold jackets that came in last august oh wow yeah, so the car here, here. Yeah. okay so you said this car here is the reason why the pro football hall of fame's it in canton a yeah. it's a symbol so one of the reasons why is when they were um and you'll probably hear a little bit about this as you go to the old um first century but when um, back in the early 1900s when football was not regulated it was kind of a little rogue thing and there were teams all over it it really was this was the hotbed with the McKinley Bulldogs the oh, wow. Tigers and there were a lot of local Akron teams Youngstown and so George Hallis was one of the owners that they decided to meet to formalize some rules about the NFL and that's where it was formed in a car dealership in downtown Canton. Yeah. And this is a replica of a car that was in the showroom at that time. And they met, some of the guys were sitting in the car on the running boards. So, and then when the idea came up about getting a Hall of Fame for football, Canton was brought up as one of the founding- One of the founding towns of town yeah. where it happened. And, uh, the community really got behind it with the support of local businesses like the Tim Tim Company 
And what kind of car is this? A uh, Hupmobile? Hupmobile. I don't, yeah. never heard of that. It's right. not a Chevy or a Ford. No, it's not. No. It's kind of like the Etzel type, you know, a lot of the older brands that aren't here anymore. But, uh, Beautiful. There was a dealership in downtown Canton. Yes. And at the enshrinement, which is held in August, one of the events they do is they get about 4,000 kids that line um, a, a uh, path from where the Hupmobile dealership was to the hall and they pass a football. So oh. about 4,000 kids in, and that's one of the events they do. Awesome. The week. Awesome. Thanks for the info. Something going on all the time during that week. Yeah. Oh, I bet. I bet. Uh, yeah. Let's take a oh, look well, at this Hupmobile. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Let's see the, the Hupmobile. Well, it was started... Uh, uh, in a car dealership where they came up with the with the league with the idea and uh this was like one of the cars that was in the dealership when they signed it and that's why they decided to make canton the hall of fame because of all the history that was here but before uh, pretty awesome that car there check this out it was an old jersey worn by uh wolcott wookie roberts uh, with the Canton Bulldogs, 1922-1923. That was the jersey. And uh, championship jewelry. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool picture of Big Ben. This is pretty awesome right here. This wall. The wall of fame here. Jerry Rice. Reggie White, Lawrence Taylor, Anthony Munoz, Joe Montana, Walter Payton, Mean Joe Green, Dunham, Jim Brown, Dan. Yo, that's how they used to play. These type of pads when it first started. Look at that. Football's birth certificate. 1829. And there's the bowl. Wow, the history right there. Look at that crazy nose guard. You see that? It's pretty wild. Oh man, here we go. Check out that. I'd wear that. You can see there's probably a bunch of people in here. Everybody checking out the Hall of Fame today on a, uh, on a Saturday. All right, here we go. Check this out. Here's Jim Thorpe, the legend. Look at this. Jim Thorpe. That is pretty awesome. You see all the people around here. Here we go, all Canton Bulldogs right there. In Jersey. Look at that. That's Red Grange's helmet right there. Johnny U. Johnny Unitas right there. Look at that. Jack Christensen. Man. Look at all these legends. These NFL legends around me. Oh, here we go. Elway, right. White Tim Brown. Awesome. Yeah, this is pretty cool. This is the, uh, the evolution of the football right here. Well, we knew that he was getting close to breaking the right now. So what we did was we contacted Carolina. That's pretty awesome right there. I see them teaching all the kids over there. Pretty awesome. What do you think, Serge? 
Hey, look at that. Is it? I guess it's like all the history of all this stuff. All the Madden games we play. You know, I think they have a big screen TV. You can play Madden on here. I read that. We should try that. Okay, now I'm going up to the next level with these stairs. They've done this place really, really nice. The Hall of Fame's awesome. It's coming this way. Okay, this is pretty cool. Check it out. This is like NFL instant replay. You got these kids over here. They're checking out the screen here. And then you got this guy over here who's looking at it through there. That's pretty awesome. I guess you can tell if it's uh, instant replay is good or not. It's pretty awesome. Okay, finally we got a cowboy here. Here we got uh, Aikman right next to uh, Mr. Brady. Steve Young. Uh, Troy Aikman, baby. Yeah, look at this whole Chicago Bears. Tebow, your Tim Tebow, I hear Tebow, McNair, rest in peace McNair, Tim Tebow, love Tim Tebow. Ah, oh, there's a man in a Smith jersey, in a Smith. Kids over here still, still learning about football. Hey, we'll jump at this side now. Here, let's see how big my hand is to Willie McGinnis. Willie McGinnis got a pretty big hand, but the same. Never worn sap, probably got a pretty big hand. About the same. Marshall Falk, he's a little guy, probably got a bigger hand than Marshall Falk. Yeah. Are a lot of bust. The plan was simple. Here we have them himself, Emmett Smith. Uh, right above him, Jerry Rice. Uh, Emmett Smith, my favorite player of all time. Um, back over here, we did have uh, this is Troy Aikman. Uh, and uh, the man himself over here, uh, John Madden. There's Madden. Played a lot of Madden football. Now I find these these Buster heads super awesome. They're all done really well. Like when you see the uh, the detail and uh, and everything. Um, like Ronnie Lott, and that looks like Ronnie Lott. He looks mad, mean as hell. He's gonna knock the block off. 
you know, so they're all done really well. And the dim lit uh, atmosphere is really uh, cool. It's uh, uh, done very well. Look over here, Jack Youngblood. Some really good ones. James Lofton. Check this out, all these uh, Hall of Fame cards here. Right. Let's see how many I got. I never got that in Smith. Hey, enjoy the rest of your day. All right, thanks a lot. Have a good one. Love football and baseball cards. For the only undefeated team, Miami Dolphins. Won the Super Bowl 14-7, 17-0. We got some Cowboys, Zeke Elliott, Dak Prescott, football, uh, Dak, uh, record rookie season for the Cowboys. Over here we got uh, Aaron Rodgers jersey, uh, that's for his, uh, um, the 700th win in franchise history, that's pretty crazy. Man, you can tell that jersey's pretty worn. Michael Thomas went in that day. Aaron Donald jersey, probably the reason they won the Super Bowl yeah, this year. Peyton Manning, Gronk jersey, broke the record for tight ends. It's pretty awesome. Is a, uh, I don't know if he has retired. There's a Derrick Henry game worn jersey. Let's see, uh, man, that's got some, some usage to it. It looks like maybe he was playing uh, he was playing the uh, the Jaguars, so that's the green from the Jaguars uh, uh, helmets or jerseys. Look at that all over it! Wow, check out these shoes worn by Stephon Diggs. Looks like he probably had somebody paint that for him. Man, you know, you really played in the game when your jersey ends up looking like that. In your shoes like that, uh, Robert Griffin. He, uh, man, looked like he got manhandled that game right there. That's pretty funny. Okay, here's the retarded part. Uh, no good. We don't like that. Eh. Yo, I remember when 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 Andy Reid wore that stupid thing on his face for that football game. What a stupid thing. What a stupid stupid thing. Man, Evan Smith, most rushing yards in NFL history. Joe Namath, guarantee right there. There it is. Roger Stallback, originator of the Hell Mary. Look at that right there. Look at it's all signed by all the players too. That is a uh, uh, that is the ball right there. Go Cowboys! Look look at the Bob Lilly's helmet, worn. Look, that's Larry Zonka's shoes. He had small feet. Cowboys, Super Bowl trophies. Look how worn that one is. It's all some action. But these are the five that Charles Haley won. Uh, here we go, Cowboys, Cowboys, Cowboys. And then the bottom two were with uh, the 49ers. Charles Haley, five Super Bowls. Uh, amazing uh, uh, defensive player in the NFL. Here we got Tom Brady signed football. Another one. Bam. Bam. That's uh, from Super Bowl when uh, they after, after the Patriots won three. There it is, Tom Brady signed balls. Now we got some bling, the Super Bowl rings from uh, all the teams right here. Cowboys, first ring, 
That's pretty cool. Another Cowboys. So every ring looks like. Where's that? Hey, which one has the most? Look at that New England Patriots. Man, the Patriots rings are crazy. I'm going to take it down here. Holy shit. Look at this. What the hell? Look at that. Poor Eagles. Then bam! What in the hell? That is crazy. Okay, look, this is how big that would be on my finger. If you look at that there, that's uh, pretty insane. But look at that Buccaneers. Wow. Here we have the infamous uh, uh, Bill Belichick uh, hoodie right here. Oh no. And then, oh my God, I need to take a knee for Tom Landry's uh, uh, hat. That is Tom Landry's hat, oh my God. Wow. And look at this here. We got Bradshaw, we got Brady, we got Foles, we got Montana. We got the Pete Rozelle trophy. Wow. Well, I can't believe that's uh, that is Tom Landry's hat right next to uh, uh, Bill Belichick's uh, hoodie. Two things of NFL football cake coaches that all you have to do is show that and anybody will know exactly what that is and who it is. I show you this jersey, I mean this hoodie, and you'll know, oh, Bill Belichick. You see that hat, you know immediately, oh, Tom Landry, Dallas Cowboys. Uh, iconic symbols of NFL football coaches. And there it is right there in front of me. I wish I could put it on. I'd sport that shit right now. So what do you thought so far, Skyler? Well, that was very dope. Pretty awesome, huh? Yes. I think, uh, actually think the Belichick uh, hoodie and the Landry hat is probably two of my favorite things. Yeah, All the busts were really cool. Pretty cool ending. Great to see this with Skyler, my son, because uh, we both love football. And we do this all the time. Uh, continue tour this way. Okay, still going. Oh yeah, here's all the interactive stuff. Here we go. Oh no, you tell me we can get on Xbox right here and game it up. We're going down. <sighs> oh wow, look, all the Maddens. Look at this. Here's the Madden stuff. Bam, every single Madden. Every single Madden. Here we go. All of them. All of them. Wow. And here we got we, we got Xbox controllers. We can we can jump in on the sticks right now and get down. Right here. Uh, you know them right there. Uh, uh, we don't like that. There's a jacket Jimmy Johnson wore. Uh, during the Super Bowl, uh, when they won. Uh, one of my favorite players, Ronnie Law. Now we're at the Pro Store, where you can buy pretty much anything, any team, anything NFL. Uh, a bunch of cool stuff. I'll probably get myself a hat, as usual. So. $33.65. There is some Federal Reserves. There is 40. So I went with the Hall of Fame hat and the Hall of Fame magnet. It came out to, what did you say, $34? Not bad. And that's pretty much uh, the NFL Hall of Fame right there. Going through the doors here. And uh, back out to the cold. But that was it. Uh, NFL Hall of Fame. Uh, we'll get a little video right here. Oh, it's a beautiful day. I love the clouds like that. And uh, bam, here is Hall of Fame. Hey, Serge, come stand here. This will probably be my thumbnail. NFL Hall of Fame right there with Serge. Boom.